now we're actually really going to start looking at more coding now in this chapter this is chapter two and um, the first actual thing we're actually going to look at is variables and actually declaring them now before we can actually declare any variables we need to create a new file okay and then program um, first var or something whatever you want to call it put in your own description about your program who created it if you want as I say it doesn't really matter at this point because not very many lines of code are going to be done now straight away in the last one we, we put the statement beginning but we're not actually going to do that this time we're actually going to create a variable we're going to type in a variable by the statement VAR and again it'll go Y just press the space bar or anything now we just get put, think of any name as long as it begins with a letter it can have numbers in it like I could have num1 but I couldn't have one num as you can see one goes a funny colour that doesn't work now I'm actually going to create a variable called name okay so we've got a variable name now what you do is you put a semicolon in a space and then a semicolon the semicolon is like a colon but with a shift key pressed and then we actually assign name a type now I, we, I want to give it make it a string okay and then a colon on the end now string this is a um, string is text with a, a, a maximum size of 255 characters so a string can have anything you can press on a keyboard or any letter or character or anything you can actually type in you put into a string now a string is used for storing data on names addresses things like that there is different variable types for example um, I'll just type them all out below you can have an integer an integer you can have um, a real you can have a boolean now there is many many others you can have all such kind of shorting, longing, bytes, bits, any lots and lots of stuff we're not going to go into those at the moment these four that I've just shown you are the ones that we're going to use mainly now an integer will hold whole numbers like 54, 73, 101 it cannot hold numbers however with decimal places you cannot store 5.3 in an integer now real is for storing numbers with decimal places you can absolutely store any single number you can comprehend as long as it's not millions of digits long in a real no, and as long as it only has one decimal place of course you could have 57.31875 in a real or anything like that you can also hold whole numbers in a real as well and then finally boolean has got two values it is either true or false now you might not actually think there's much use for that but I tell you booleans are extremely useful variables and we'll actually go into all these types of variables in later dates after declaring your variable you have your begin followed by your end with if you'll stop and that's it we have declared a variable straight uh, uh, a declarable sorry. we have declared a variable that's better name which is of type string uh, in the program first of all.